Hey, what's up, guys? Uh, I've got an awesome deck for you today that uh, runs a more unconventional win con, but also kind of conventional since you attack your opponent's life total. You just don't do it with creatures. So this Esper Zur deck is more of a mid-range style deck, but can kind of play like a control deck uh, at times because you use your enchantments to, to lock down your opponent's board. So how does this deck win then? Well, that's where the namesake card comes into play. Zur Eternal Schema. So Zur is a 3-mana 1-4 flyer, which allows you to animate your enchantments for just 2 mana and gives those enchantments Death Touch, Lifelink, and Hexproof. This makes any of them a good blocker, helps you stabilize if you've fallen behind on life, uh, and also protects your enchantments from spot removal. Uh, we run a few counter spells in the form of Make Disappear uh, and Disdainful Stroke, and then a healthy dose of enchantment-based removal, including Borrow Time, Static Net, uh, as well as some flash removal in the form of Prayer of Binding and Leyline Binding. These enchantments can then all be animated and used to attack down the opponent. So Leyline Binding would get you a 6-6 six, six Hexproof Lifelink uh, Death Touch uh, creature. If the opponent is running a more aggressive deck, we actually have two copies of Temporary Lockdown to slow down the opponents, uh, and then two copies of Depopulate and even a copy of Farewell if we want to completely reset the board. Winning Announcements is our alternative win con, where we can generate a bunch of tokens and grind on the opponent that way. Uh, once it flips, it gives all of our creatures, including our animated enchantments, plus one, plus one. And it can even pump itself if you animate it with Xur. So this deck felt great. Um, it feels like it has an answer for everything. Um, and even when we fell behind, uh, we were able to turn the corner of Xur. Uh, that's it for the intro. Uh, I'll see you in the games. So I think this is capable. We have winning Announcements and some removal spells that board wipe. We essentially want to draw towards Xur, so let's see, let's see if we can do that. So we'll go ahead and play this taps. So no turn two play, so we'll play the tap lane again. Opponents on Gruul, so maybe some sort of more aggressive deck. Animator decks play this, so we might need to. Hmm. So what I'm worried about is um, us not really having having an answer to any sort of like reanimation um, spell that they play. So I almost think like we have to be the aggressors now. So what would they? Do? Use to reanimate. I'm actually not really sure. Usually, uh, reanimated decks are play like black. Let's go and attack. Um, I'm fine with them hitting chapter two. It doesn't really do a whole lot. land I think we if we attack with all we end up drawing from the wedding announcements but I think we actually want a, a bit of a wider board so I think we attack with just one and again I'm wondering what they would reanimate with so let's see um, what it does Scrap Gorger, sure. Uh, we'll flash this in and take their Seeker. So we'll play this land. Uh, we'll go ahead and attack all and we'll hold on to Jetmir's Garden. Actually, so we could actually cycle up this turn. Yeah, let's go ahead and cycle this turn. I want to see if we can draw towards that, um, 
than the uh, deserve. There we go. It's a tally deck. So what do they get? Make disappear and cityscape leveler, for sure. Okay, so how do we want to do this? We have a board wipe and we have a ton of removal. Or I guess we have one piece of removal. If we board wipe, we can't play Zer. Can they transform this yet? No, not yet. It's a 7 7 trampler. And then this just starts destroying things. So I think we have to go into the populate. Pass a turn. Um, next turn, static net. Uh, or rather, let's play Zerus since they didn't play anything. And we'll animate this. Go ahead and attack. And we'll pass a turn. Here we go. So not the most proactive hand, but I think on the draw I think this is good. We have some spat removal and we have some board wipes. I'm gonna keep this. So play Xander's Lounge, turn one. Turn two, we have the option to play Companion or Big Buster. So let's go ahead and play. Go and draw cards. That's good. So I think we definitely want to get rid of the Augur of Autumn. Let's go ahead and can actually attack. I think I'm fine with that. So probably not the most mana efficient way to play, but... Yeah. So... Let's keep mana. Let's actually, so, so I think I'm holding off on depopulate because I almost want their, I'm, I'm trying to decide if I want to wait until their icon just transforms, but at the very least I want them to commit more to the, uh, the board. So they'll probably kill the bank buster, which I think is fine. I'm glad they're playing that out now because I'd rather them use it on companion versus something else. So they'll probably kill Bankbuster. So let's see. What's our line? So we could depopulate next turn and then static net the restoration of my ganjo. Yeah, I was going to do that. So blow being up. Next one we static net.
second one's kind of annoying. Let's, um, let's go in static net. Go ahead and do that. Then we'll play the canyon. And I think we want to draw in some more enchantments that we can animate with Xur. Static net. Okay, let's play this out. Kind of curious. Let me play the land and pass a turn. I want to wait for a more impactful turn to play depopulate. So I think for now I'm just going to keep the, um, the Spirit Companion back. Sure. So let's go ahead and bind something. Um, hmm. So I could depopulate, blow everything up. And still have. Let's see, do we have enough mana? No. So we're gonna either play one or the other. I don't want them to get an extra token off the architects. I don't want to get, let them attack with a frenzy trap breaker, so we can actually go ahead and blow everything up now. Next turn we can binding Panzer. Sure. Looking for one of our token generators, like uh, wedding announcements, as well as frankly any other enchantment that we have. So we'll go and play Zer. Last three cards are. So Mirex is interesting. I think Xur is probably a good blocker for that. For whatever uh, might say create off of the Mirex. I wonder if they have anything that can grab something out of the graveyard. Gonna wait until their turn, but I didn't want to let them attack. So we're going to attack with the uh, the Zer. And I think end of their turn we can animate the binding. Okay, 
so that's not great. So that gets in there, I ganjo back. So I wonder if we can animate it and make it expert. I think we can. Perfect. I think we need to be pretty aggressive now and attack opponent down. Because if they draw any more of these, like, creatures or spells that allow them to destroy enchantments, it just makes things tougher. Sure, I think that's fine. So fine. Go and animate. Let's go ahead and attack all. Put us at the five. I'm gonna hold on to the land just because. I want to keep people on guessing a little bit. Sure. So I think we're really hoping for some sort of removal spell for the Silverback Elder. I think that's fine. One, one poison counter. So we don't get that. So let's see, what can we do? Hmm. So if we attack all, the opponent gets one of their Iganjos back, because um, I think they have to block at least one. They have to block at least the Prayer of Binding. Um, but if they do with the Elder, the Elder dies, and I think they might have to block multiple, so I'm going to attack and see how the opponent blocks. Okay, so they get back one of their Iganjos. And we will we'll play land. Let's let draw a card off the mirror. It's game. So I think this hand is fine, especially on the draw. Uh, we basically want to find one of our users to make a little bit bigger. So let's see, for turn one, we can go ahead and play tap land. Turn two, we can create the last or something. And turn three, um, I guess we could actually hold off until turn three if we find a planes. Let's go ahead and temporary lock down everything. And the next turn we can either wedding announcements or play something else. Okay. So let's go and play Takanuma. So I think we So I think we keep up Make Disappear and Fateful Absence. 
And I think we might have to... So this is not night and day. So we can... We don't have to play anything this turn. But let's get ready to counter um, one of their spells. So we'll go ahead and fade the lap since the Odyssey... Okay, so I think we go ahead and play the Wedding Announcements now. And then we have some removal for whatever else they um, decide to play. So we do actually want more lands. So we will play... We'll grab one of the Rafine ta Rafine's Towers. So it does leave us a little bit vulnerable for this turn. So we're, we're going to take six. have to board wipe here. So we actually need to draw into the, um, the Zer, which is exactly what we got here. So it's perfect. I'm just trying to figure out how we play this. So I think we need to get rid of their Amalgam. And then we can... We could attack. I don't think we have any haste creatures. And I think we would get a 1-1 one, one from the wedding announcements. And we'll keep the uh, the Meg Disappear up. Let's play something big. Let's go ahead and play this. With the casualty. Sacrifice the, uh, the Cap Soldier. So, we definitely need to start recovering some life. So, I think we play Zer. And then we tap this for. These are not the pain lands, which is great. I'm going to tap with both, get up to. Uh, life. That is his spine. That's fine. So how do we want to do this? So we can go ahead and perfect. 